Hey moms and dads, I want to share with you a case study about a little boy that came to us because he was experiencing extreme anxiety. When this little dude, his name is Cal, started in care with us, it was because he was having major anxiety that was getting progressively worse. And mom and dad were noticing that it was having a bigger and bigger impact on his quality of life. He was having lots of issues with temper tantrums and meltdowns. He was having unusual anxiety in situations where a little boy absolutely should not. And mom and dad didn't really know what else to do. They were considering doing counseling. They were considering a bunch of different alternatives. And mom happened to know us, so she said, well, let's just give this a try because I've heard lots of good things about it, so let's see if this actually works. We are now a little over a month into care for our little buddy, and he has had amazing progress. Mom and dad actually just had their first progress exam, and here is the primary result. So his scans, which are our objective measures, have uh, changed tremendously. We see that these scans, these objective measures are changing, so we see brain functions changing. But what matters most to mom and dad is that they see that his behavior is changing. His anxiety levels are down dramatically. They're also noticing things like if he gets upset, it's much easier for him to be redirected. They said what well, used to take him 30 minutes to an hour to be redirected, he's redirected fully within five or so minutes, which is a huge change, right? If you're a parent that's dealing with a child that's got anxiety, you can understand how much this would mean in terms of the speed that things are changing around. What I do want to spend a minute on here is talking about why this little dude's nervous system would go down this road of having anxiety. Developmentally, a child's nervous system should be in balance. There should be this balance between stress, which we call sympathetic response within the body, and parasympathetic, which is rest, digest, growth, development, healing, emotional control, regulation, and brain development. What ends up happening is, is that oftentimes, very early in life, there is this shift. Something happens. Maybe it's a pregnancy stress. Maybe it's birth trauma, which, by the way, guys, is the most common reason why we see kids going down these neurodevelopmental pathways and the nervous system will get stuck in stress because nothing is there to correct it. And so what ends up happening is, is that we have these early signs. There are things like we'll see signs like, um, you know, colic and we'll see reflux and we'll see some other things that tell us that the nervous system is not calm. But what we'll see then is that they'll develop over time into new and different things. By the time that he's, you know, you're a toddler, you'll see things like some temper tantrums and some meltdowns. Maybe there's some stimming. Maybe there's some issues with focus and attention. And they all continue to build and evolve until we start seeing more and more symptom expression over time. Whereas when a child comes into a chiropractic office and we do our insight neuroscans, what we're able to do is see how deeply rooted that stress is. And then we start adjusting that child. By adjusting that child, we stimulate the vagus nerve, which stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system, which helps the brain to get back on track, which is why you see this kind of a result. And then objectively, what we do is we periodically rescan so we can see how the brain is changing, reorganizing, and helping to reach its goals. I hope this was helpful. Like and comment, and let us know what you think.